and our morning weather. Mac. Thank you, Roland. Morning, everybody. 80 degrees as you head out the door. I know it was a rough weekend and, and this uh, overnights don't get much cool either. Probably your AC is just clicking on and off and uh, yesterday's high was 98. We haven't hit the 100 yet and we're probably going to be at, you know, 99, but, but that's four feet above the ground. So I'm pretty sure your toes were at 100. Uh, so the air temperature has not quite gotten there yet. But again, another brutally hot day. Not only do we have the heat advisories, but there are excessive heat warnings for the Dallas area where it's uh, bone dry and extremely warm. Uh, we, of course, have the advisories up for our areas as well. And that's an excessive heat warning. That's for us. So basically, uh, you know, if you're going to work outdoors in the middle of the day, you just got to take it easy and get plenty of fluids. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about about, especially if you're perspiring a lot, you know, like like your t-shirt, your shirt is soaked. Well, that's the point where you might be overdoing it there. So uh, do be cautious with that. I just wanted to show you that there are some storms in uh, northern plains. They're a long way from our area, but I haven't seen any rain in so long. I thought, hey, this would be, be nice. In fact, I think we did we have the video yet? We're, we've got some video from this uh, stormy weather that's occurring up there. But that's where the cool air and the hot air are hitting each other. And that's why we're getting that volatile weather. But under the dome, nothing under the dome of doom. In fact, we had two wildfires that were out in uh, the Ozona area yesterday afternoon. Uh, I believe they're all under control, but the dome of doom is what we're calling it now. Sounds pretty, pretty dramatic, doesn't it? That's the big bubble of hot air that's on top of Texas and the Southern Plains. Nothing's going to happen under it because the pressure is so high, but everything's going around it, as you can see right about there. Well, right here, you can see how this cloud deck is sort of trying to come back toward the Texas coast. By the end of this week, this bubble will probably move back to the southwest and give us a little bit of a break. We have a tropical system uh, that's very close to, to shore, but no problem. This is Henrietta, but you can see how it's moving out to sea in the Atlantic. We continue extremely quiet, so we are going to just say, uh, could it be a tropical storm season with no tropical storms? That would be very interesting. Uh, here's the, the bubble of hot air, not only for us, but for all of Texas. Everybody's blazing under this heat. This dome is on top of us, but look how it sort of starts to begin to move sort of to the west. Well, that means that Arizona and New Mexico will be under the gun for the hot weather. It means we'll be hot, but not as blazing. How does that, does that sound better? Okay, blaze, not as, bla not as brutal, a little bit, not as hot. well, you know what I mean. Well, what I mean is that it'll still be on the warm side, but you will start seeing the little cloud cover roll in from the Gulf. And by the time we get to the weekend, we may see a couple of sea breeze showers. That's exciting. Otherwise, it's just wall to wall sunshine for about three, three more days. We're looking for a 98 again today and a 99 and a 99. And then a slight break in the heat as we get closer to the weekend. We'll get down to about 95. That's what I'm talking about, a cooling trend. That's your seven day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy. We'll be right back.